So if you've been in the 3D printing community for any amount of time, you probably have run into a couple failed prints, a nozzle clog, or at worst, a hot end clog. Today, we're gonna figure out how I ended up with a nozzle clog and a hot end clog with the Mingda Magician Pro. Definitely not the printer's fault, user error, but if you wanna learn how to fix your own, stay tuned. Before diagnosing the issue, let's remove the failed print off the bill plate. The first thing I noticed is that my nozzle went completely rogue. Although I'd love to stick to the 0.4 millimeter nozzle, today we're cranking it up to a one millimeter. Before switching out the nozzle, I noticed that my hot end is completely caked with plastic. And that brings us to step one. Unscrew the cover unit to see what wonderful present my printer left me. Step two is heating the hot end to about 220 degrees to start melting that plastic away. Make sure once your hot end is heated, you turn off and unplug your printer before messing with any wiring so that you don't cause a shortage. As a plastic softened, I went at it with some pliers wrapped around a cotton t-shirt. Now let's strip away the silicone cover for a deep clean. I had to disconnect some of the wiring to fully remove it, which was a bit of a weird design, but doable. With the big chunks of plastic out of the way, it's time to get in there with some toothpicks. If you don't have any toothpicks laying around, I highly suggest grabbing some from your nearest dollar store. They're a lifesaver in situations like this. Now that all the cleanup is done, let's do a nozzle swap. The nozzle is on and everything is ready to go. Let's throw on some filament and start a calibration cube test print. Although it was a one millimeter nozzle, and it probably would have done better with a bigger print, it didn't turn out bad. And it's nice to know that my printer works and I don't have to go buy a new hot end. If you found this video helpful, Go ahead and give it a like, and if you have any tips, drop them down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.